We'll show you how to flare a brake line today. You can get a little closer, Cohen. You can buy a little $15 tool set from almost any parts store. We got 3 16ths line today. So we're gonna match it up on the set. It says 3 16ths. And there's two different types of flares that you might need. Oh, well, we're gonna do, we're using copper nickel alloy line. It'll never rot out and it flares so much easier than your steel coated line. So take a close look at uh, how much is sticking out here. Not much at all, just enough to bend a little flare. And we're gonna tighten down. We got multiple flaring tools. I'll show you at the, the end of the video. There we go, we're nice and tight. I like this one because it locks in to my tool here. Try to show them what's going on if you can, Cohen. So we're gonna line that up right with the center of the hole of the line and start tightening. There we go. You can buy these reels in like 10, 25, and 100 foot. Now we're just gonna tighten it. And the cone of the flaring tool will make a flare in the brake line, just like so. And that's your regular flare. Now, if you're trying to make a double bubble flare, you're gonna put this tool in there and tighten it down. There's a little flaring tool. And what that does is make that little bubble looking flare at the end of the lines if you need that. How do you know what kind of flare you need? After you take your old brake line off, look how rusty this guy is. See that one? That's a regular flare, just one caved flare there, not a folded over one. So that's the one we need for this job. And that's how you flip, make that flare. So we'll take it off the line. Make sure you get those really tight so that the line doesn't push back when you're trying to flare and actually stays in place and gives us a nice little flare. There we go. And one important thing, don't forget to put your uh, fitting on before you start flaring. Bring your fitting right up to it. Look how beautiful that looks. Right there. That's how you flare a brake line and we'll show you. We'll come over here. I've got a couple different trays of brake flaring tools. We got all different size of flaring tools to make that double flare. There's a broken one. If you break one, my parts store offers them for like two bucks. We got line bending tool. We got different flaring tools. Cone one. Now for the, for the double flares, I usually like to use this one because that one that locks in is too short for most of uh, the adapters to go on. So yeah, line cutting tool, that'll be important because you want to get a, these are only a couple dollars at the parts store. And one of these trays with everything you need is only like 15 bucks. That's the basic concept.